Assalamu alaikum. This is your brother Rayyan Arab recording for I Love Islam channel. What we want to talk about today is something different than what is being discussed with many of the uh, people nowadays. It's something that many people have fell into. It's a calamity. What kind of calamity? A disease. A disease that comes into the hearts. It is a disease that comes into the hearts and destroys families. Not only does it destroy families, it destroys oneself. You may have fell into it. If not, you are probably a victim to it. What is that? That is haram relationships. A haram relationship for you to have a girlfriend or for you to have a boyfriend or for you to, you know, hook up with some girls and, and you know, try to be the playboy or, or the playgirl. This is absolutely haram. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, وَلَا تَقْرَبُ zina." Do not come near zina. He didn't say don't commit zina. He didn't say wala tiznun. He said wala taqrabu zina. Do not come near it. You see, I mean, if you see a woman walking in the street, go the other side or just look down and you know, don't look at her because looking at her leads to something else. What is that? That is zina. And subhanAllah, nowadays you have all these people uh, committing a, a, adultery, committing fornication. And not only that, but they have, the, you know, they, they hook up with chicks, they hook up with girls, and they're like, oh, she's my girlfriend, I love her. If you didn't get married to her, then this is completely haram. You're not allowed to have a girlfriend in Islam. For you to be a good Muslim, then you should, if you are interested in a female, you should get engaged to her and get married to her because it is completely haram for us to fall into zina, for us to have a haram relationship, a relationship where there is no marriage involved. So please make sure that you advise others and advise yourself if you have fell into this because this is, this is a serious disease. You see daughters, you see daughters who look very innocent, innocent daughters and you hear from their friends or from their relatives that she has a boyfriend. And this is, you know, it, 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 it disturbs me. It disturbs me. Why? Because we are Muslims and we should be raising our children the things that are consistent with the Quran and the Sunnah, the Messenger Sallallahu taught us that looking, only looking at the opposite gender, looking at a female twice, I mean the first one is for you, the second one is against you, the second look, so if you see a female on the street and you look at her the first time, you know just uh, all of a sudden you just saw her in front of you, you looked at her, that's okay, but then you looked down or you looked away and if you looked at her again, subhanAllah, that's a sin. So how do you think it is when you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend, you make some phone calls and, and you, you know, you talk some uh, love and you get emotional and all that. It's, it's absolutely wrong. That's why we need, to, we need to fix it. I mean, if you are in love, if you think you're in love, I know what you're probably thinking right now. It's not easy for me to let go of him just because it's haram. I want to be with him. He is the man of my dreams or she is the girl of my dreams. But let me tell you something. If you die in this condition, then you are going to meet Allah with a big, big sin. That is why you want to make sure that you ask Allah to forgive you. You repent to Allah. You regret what you're doing and you try to fix this however you can. If it's by marriage, fix it. Or if it's by breaking up, fix it today and do not delay because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching you. And I don't want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to punish you and that's why I'm here advising you. May Allah make us of those who follow the right path and may Allah make us of those who avoid zina completely. Jazakumullahu khairan. Thank you for listening. Wabarakallahu fikum. Wassalamu alaikum. Warahmatullahi wabarakatuhu.